Hi guys and welcome back to our FIFA 20 Sunderland Road to Glory career mode. So in the last episode we made several signings in preparation for our new championship season as we have just been promoted from League One. So we'll go over them again. Troy Parrott from Spurs, we did get the young striker. Now a couple of these players, as you'll know, I was pronouncing horribly wrong in the last episode and I was corrected, corrected sorry, uh, nicely by you guys in the comments of the last episode. So... It's not Hueva, it's Hoover, which I did say, I did think it might be that, but I was saying Hueva in the last episode. We have Ethan Pinnock, we have Antonio Marin, and now I was calling this gentleman Mecca in the last episode because I had seen several commentators call him that, but apparently isn't. You actually do pronounce the N and it's Ch at the end, so you do say Mecha, so I will just call him that, and Jamal Lowe as well. Now, I was having a good think... Um, before this episode or before we did continue with the series. Now, this season, as I did briefly mention in the last episode, I want this season to be a sort of consolidation season where we do maybe aim for sort of mid-table. And with that, I'm thinking about doing quite a lot more simulating than usual because I kind of just want to use this season as a season to settle down in the championship, maybe get around 10th, 11th, 12th place finish. And also, this squad that we've got now, I really like the base of the squad, so I'm not going to make any more signings. There have been a couple of... Uh, suggestions to make maybe a loan offer for a central midfielder but I do quite like the look of the squad as it is right now so my aim in terms of training up the play and stuff like that I want to get everyone or the majority to at least rated 70 come the end of the season the likes of you know Burgess on his way out so Burgess won't be here but like Denver Hume, uh, the youngster Harris, Willis, uh, Watmo, Hughes, O'Neill, Hoover, Power, uh, Smut might not make it because he's quite low there. Dobson's already made it. Embleton, Mumba, I'm going to try my best to try and get him up to 80 because he does have a high potential. So he will probably get there a lot quicker than the likes of Robin, uh, Robson, sorry, who probably won't quite get up there by the end of the season. Um, and Kimpioka probably won't get there as well, but I want to get Parrot. Uh, upgraded quite a lot, but th so that is what my sort of goal is for this season. I'm not necessarily too bothered about results or trophies or anything like that. It is literally a consolidation season, which I do think is quite realistic. So for this season, just to fly through it a little bit quicker, I will still probably play the couple of games per episode, but I'm going to simulate a lot more. So for example, we can get through the entire uh, entirety of August today. I'll probably simulate the Birmingham game, simulate the game against Salford in the Carabao Cup. I will play the Stoke game, simulate Wigan and Ipswich, and then finish the game, or finish the episode, sorry, with a game against Leeds, which I know you might not be massive fans of, but like I say, I want to really fly through this season and just really improve our players, because then next season, we only need to buy one or two players, if you know what I mean. We only need to buy one or two star players that are really going to improve the squad. We're not just buying players for the sake of it, if you know what I mean. So, as I say, we'll go straight into this game, simulator game against Birmingham. Come on, lads. Come on, lads. And we win by two goals to one, but Gooch picks up a bad injury, which of course would be the case, wouldn't it? I do think that simulating in the Championship, though, it won't be as kind to us as it was in League One. We tend to win, or we happen to win all the time, didn't we, when we was in League One and simulating. But we'll have a look to see how bad the injury is for Lyndon Gooch. Hopefully it isn't too long. It's for four weeks. That's not too bad, really. I, th I was expecting to say four months or something like that. And there is confirmation that Burge has been sold as well. So we do have a little bit of money in there. Nothing to really excite us or get any other players from. I don't really think we need to, as I say. And now to simulate this game against Salford. Of course, cup run would be nice, but it, again, it really isn't the priority for this season. And we draw two all and lose 5-4 on pens, which is a shame, but again, I don't really care. <laughs> but next up, we do go away from home. We're back into league action, and we're going away from home against Stoke. And this is the team we're going to go with. We have Rose in goal. We have John, Pinnock, Willis, and O'Neill across the back with Power and Dobson in the middle. We have Madison as the cam. Marin starting this time on the left wing. Low on the right, and Nemecha up top. Let's get into it. And here we go, away from home. It's pouring it down at Stoke. It's always a difficult away day. Going to Stoke away, but can we get a win today? We still haven't lost. We've only played two league games this season. One of them been simulated, of course, but we still haven't lost to so far in the league. I shouldn't really talk about it too much because then it might happen. Oh, it's a good chance for Stoke. Now it's Patterson. Plays it back to Powell. He does try and strike. It's a good block by Ethan Pinnock. Get it out. Well in. Oh, my God. What the hell is going on? What an absolute nightmare. I've played the goal kick short, thought he'd hoof it away, and he smashed it straight at him. 
Oh, what the hell is going on? Why did I do that? There was a big touch. Oh, that is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, shit. And we're a goal down. What a rookie error that was. Oh, you idiot, Joel. What are you doing, man? Go on. He does fine. Marcus Madison. Give it him back. He does try. He turns. It's Madison and he's dragged it. And he's a good save by the keeper. Oh, nearly an immediate equaliser there if it weren't for Butland in goal. We do whip it in with a Madison corner. It's been back in the box. Get onto it, someone. It's been cleared away. I can see Jamal low. Go on, son. There's acres of space here. Go on, low. Get it him. Get him, son. Keep going. Take it yourself, man. All the way. It's still low. Drag it. It's still low. Oh, and it's been blocked and cleared away. We could be 2 or 3. We're not by now. We've made the one error with the keeper. But other than that, we've absolutely battered him. We're playing really, really well at the minute. Oh, get it away. It's a good chance and it's a good save by Rose. Go on. That's a class ball. That for Antonio Marin to get onto. It is Marin. Still Marin. Get it across. It is Dobson. Takes a touch. Hits it. It's in. It's 1-1 and the equaliser has finally come. And it's Dobson who forces it home. Get in. You break forward with Antonio Marin. He gets his first assist of the season. One touch by Dobson. And then bang. He doesn't miss those. Great counter attack. And we are now level. There's me saying that I don't really care about this season. Yeah, I'm celebrating like a madman when we equalise away from home against Stoke. <laughs> this is really good football, this. On to Nemecha now. Tries to get one over the top for Madison Chase. Can he hold him up? He can. It is Madison. Have a crack from distance. It's Madison. And it's dragged wide. Really good link-up play there between Nemecha and Marcus Madison, though. Oh, but they do break now. They've got many, many bodies forward. Stoke, it's Bauer on the right hand side. He does get a cross goal, get it away. Thank God that didn't fall to a Stoke man. And we can't break either, or can we? No, because we keep giving them the ball back. <laughs> now I'm going to bring on Elliot Embleton and Aidan McGeady as well. And then maybe in about 10, 15 minutes or so, I'll bring on another striker as well to replace the Mecha, who has been a little bit disappointing to be fair so far. Jamal low on to Max Power. Can they break now? There is the Metcher. Please give it him properly. It is the Metcher. There's a man in the middle. Can he find him? He can. It's Elliot Embleton, the substitute. It's in. It's 2-1. And it's Elliot Embleton who's just come on the pitch. We break. And it is him who puts it in the back of the net. And we are now in the lead. Come on. It's just a consolidation season. It doesn't matter. I'm not even asked. <laughs> but that's a class break there. And Embleton with a lovely finish with his left foot. Placing it into the near post. Get in. Well, that's a class ball, that's a Aiden McGeady. Loads of space. Go on, McGeady, lad. Go on, McGeady. Still McGeady. Take him on. It is McGeady. Surely referee. If McGeady went down then, that would have been a penalty. Because I know for a fact he would have scored then. That was 100% a penalty. Go on, Willis. Get there first. Get there first. Beat into to it. He does. That is class from Willis. Get it away. Get it away. That never went out. Never in a million years did that go out. Injai with the corner now, with eight or seven minutes left. And we do manage to get it away. Oh, that's really good stuff. And it is Nemecha who decided not to bring off after we did go 2-1-0. Can he get his first goal for the club? It's Nemecha. Surely it's hit the post. Of course he has. And it's not gone in. What is going on here? It's still Nemecha. It's in. It's 3-1. And we does get his goal. Nemecha finally. How the hell did that not go in? What a scrappy goal. One on one with the keep, hits the post, and then it, <laughs> look at him, he was celebrating. He ran away celebrating before it even went in. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. But he does get his goal. 3 1. Game over. Here's another goal in this one. We are breaking, and the referee decides it's over. But there goes full time whistle. And what a win that is. Away from home against Stoke. He went a goal down through an absolutely ridiculous goal. We battered them in the first half. I think Stoke were probably just about the better side in the second. But we still managed to get another couple of goals and make it 3-1. Did you expect to beat Stoke City today? I'll say Sunderland always wins. It's just so arrogant. I hate that question. Uh, could today's game have gone differently? Uh, we could have scored more. I thought we could have scored more. Again, just keeping the team happy. There's going to be a lot of rotation this year, so... I'm presuming quite a few players aren't going to be happy. So on anything I can to keep the morale up, I'm going to do. How difficult was it to block Stoke City's attackers from scoring? I put it wasn't easy. And that is the interview done. But next up, we do take on Wigan in a simulator game at the Stadium of Light. Hopefully, we do get a, a decent result here. We shall see. And we draw 1-0 with Watmo getting a goal. But Parrot picking up 
a little knock there. Shouldn't be too serious though. That icon usually only means a few days, I would imagine. Yeah, only three days, not too bad. And now to simulate this next game against Ipswich, who of course did get promoted with us from League One last season. We have gone with our full strength squad in this one, so hopefully no one picks up any injuries. And we draw one all again. We're becoming a... The one all team again, aren't we? Reeks of Jack Ross. <laughs> but now we are going to be rounding off the episode with a very, very interesting game taking on Leeds. I am going to start Embleton in this game because I think he's been very, really, really good recently. So I'm going to start him and Gooch still isn't 100% fit either. So I might actually put Madison on uh, on one side. In fact, no, what I'll do, I'm going to let um, Embleton play in his natural role and I shall start low on the right side. Marin can go on the left as well. And that will be our starting eleven for this game. So we have Rose, John, Pinnock, Willis, O'Neill, Power, Dobson, Embleton, Marin, Lowe and Nemecha to start this game. Let's get into it. And here we go at the stage of light. It's a beautiful day as we do welcome Leeds United. I do expect Leeds to be up there and thereabouts come the end of the season. So this could be a really, really difficult test. Can we get another win? We still haven't been defeated so far this season in the league. Now here is Alioski coming down this right side. Really, really good player, Alioski, but Declan John manages to deal with him. And we could maybe even break here. It is Elliot Embleton. He's trying to find Nemecha on your back, son. On your back. You're faster than him. There you go, Nemecha. Turn inside. Still Nemecha. Can he get it across goal? He can. Can he finish it? He is. Oh, he has. Sorry. It is Jamal Lowe who gets it. Get in. And he's crawling around like some kind of wild animal. What the? <laughs> what kind of celebration is that? Didn't Gomez used to do that? Who used to um, play for Swansea? He used to play for Swansea, but it was a really good pass cross goal from from Nemetra. It was a little bit behind Jamal Lowe actually, so it was quite a difficult um, angle to try and turn the ball in. But he has done it, and we're a goal in front. Ten minutes in, Bamford. Now we're just trying to get Alioski in down towards the byline, and thank God he's offside. Alioski's been the real danger man for Leeds so far in this game. Bamford is in here. It's a good chance, and it's a. It's a goal. Rose really should have done a lot better there. But it's offside. Thank God. That was terrible from Rose. Really was poor. He's had a bit of a nightmare in this episode so far, hasn't he? Alright, it's Grote now on this left side. Jamal Lowe trying to keep up with him. This lad has a lot of pace, doesn't he? Get in, Lowe. Well played. Get it away. That'll do. Oh, come on now. It's a good chance for them. Down against the byline. Get it away. Get it away. It's a good chance. It's a great save by Rose. Thankfully, he didn't have a Lee Camp-esque error in him there. And we're into the second half now. We've managed to just get in alive and still in the lead. It is Alioski now. Early in the second half. Down the right side. Hold him up. Still Shackleton. Then to Alioski again. He does get it in. And we do manage to get it away. Or do we? We lose it again right in a stupid position here. And it's just wide. They're absolutely battering us at the minute, Leeds. Oh, this is really good stuff now. It is Nemecha on to Ambleton. Can he finish? He can! It's 2-0! It is so against the run of play. But it's Embleton again who's having an absolutely insane start to the season. Beautiful football. Dobson onto Nemetra, into Embleton, and he gets his second assist of the game, Nemetra as well. He's got so much to his game, and he's been excellent today in this episode. Get in! That's a good chance now for Leeds. That's beautiful football from Leeds, and it's gone wide somehow. They've absolutely destroyed us. They absolutely have. Both Hanlon and Parrott are coming on for the final 10 minutes of the game. Give them some game time. I'm going with a 4-4-2 now for the final 10 minutes. Leeds are playing some great first touch football here. Shackleton now coming down the right. Oh, come on. He's got acres of space here. It's a decent ball in. Get it away. It's been headed by Luke O'Neill. They're still piling the pressure on here. I don't understand that. how on earth we are 2 nil up, by the way. They've just battered us. And that's a easy enough save for Rose to gather. But they do come forward yet again. It is Roberts this time. He tries to flick it back. And we do cut it out. And can we make this three with a counter-attack of dreams? I can see Parrot through the middle there. It is Parrot. Still Parrot now, the youngster. We've just brought him in from Spurs. Parrot, it's in. It's 3-0. Straight down the middle. And what a result this is. We've literally had like three chances in this game. And we've scored every single one. And it's the youngster Parrot who gets his first goal for the club. What a great counter-attack that was. A bit of pace that just breaks through that tiring Leeds defence. And it's a great finish. Drilling it into the... Left hand side of the goal, 3-0, what a game. Maybe I should go with two up top more often. 
Well, and there goes a full-time whistle, and it's a real, real memorable day at the Stage of my Life. But as I was about to say, maybe we should go with two up top more often. Because as soon as we did that, we had so much more options of movement straight down the centre. Because a lot of our play comes from the wings, because we usually play 4-2-3-1. But we went straight down the middle then and just really hurt them on the counter-attack, which is maybe something we can do in the later stages of the game when the defenders do tire. But either way, what a result. Was Marin's performance in today's win enough? Um... I'll put keep or must keep his momentum. He was very good today when he was on the pitch. Are you confident of keeping the streak rolling? Uh, I'll say we have what it takes, although we are going to be losing games this season. It's just been a really good start. Were you expecting a more competitive match? Well, to be fair, these battered us. They absolutely battered us. I'll say I'll give them full credit because um, we were great to get three goals against such a strong side. And that is the interview done. And there we have it. There is the league table at the end of the episode. It's currently West Brom leading the way on 16 points. We are in sixth, which is a very, very good start to the season. Although I really don't want to go up this season. As I said, I really don't. I just want to make our team... I think, like I said earlier on, around 70 rated. I want the majority of the players to be around that level. So then we have a really good championship level base. And then each season we can just improve with only one or two players rather than having to buy six, seven, eight every single season. I don't really see the point in doing that. I don't want to change the team around too much. Because as I say, I do like the base of this squad. But there we go. So we have West Brom top of the league. Aston Villa in second. Burnley, Stoke, QPR and of course Sunderland. And at the end of the episode, bottom of the league, we do have Rotherham, Millwall and Middlesbrough as well. Who have lost all six of their opening six games. But that'll be it guys. If you have enjoyed the episode, please hit the like button for me. It'd be massively, massively appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully fledged member of the Sarnia Army. But for now, you take care and stay jammy.